Hi guys! Today is a product review day. We got a wonderful digital multimeter from Ben Lab. This kind of multimeter is manual wrench. In the past, I made a review about a clamp meter from the same company and I was very satisfied with the quality of the product. I'm totally sure I will get the same quality in this multimeter too. The test leads are category 2 for 600 volts 10 amperes. It uses two AA standard size batteries. It has a huge screen with light. I like it a lot. It looks stable to me. Resistors test. One ohm. 10 ohms, it says 10.1, 10.2, 100 ohms, <laughs> 1K, it says 997, 96, K nine thousand nine hundred eighty is okay. One hundred K says nine hundred ninety nine. For one meg, one meg zero zero one. The ten megs is out of the scale because it is up to two mega ohms. I'm using a voltage reference of ten volts, and the multimeter says ten point zero one volt is on the specs. And we can compare with a six digits and a half multimeter with higher precision. Our Venn lab is on the specs. The multimeter says it is true RMS. That means the voltage is effective in one kilohertz. I'm applying one volt RMS and that's what we get in one kilohertz. Now I'm going to increase to five volts. Please pay attention, it is one kilohertz. And we got our five volts. So the accuracy of the multimeter is great. This is a three digits and a half multimeter. If you don't mind after the point to get a bunch of zeros, just three digits and a half, what you want to know, you will get it. This is the right multimeter for it. Most of the time we get a transistor and we need the data sheet, but we never know how are the pins, who is the base, the meter and the collector and even in the same expected uh, transistor 
the fabricant might change those uh, pins uh, location. So that's the reason why we need the pin identification for transistors. That's kind of high, 1,800 something. Same situation. Seven. Aha, uh -huh. that looks more normal. The pin out is a meter base collector and the gain is 315. Now we have a reference about our transistor. So when we work with audio amplifiers, this is a PMP transistor. What we need to create a balance in the push-pull is a transistor MPN with a similar gain than this one. I know guys, you are beep 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 lover. So now let's try the continuity. Okay, not too bad, I like it. What about the diodes? There is only one way in the whole planet to know it. Try it. Red. Yellow. It looks weak on the green. The blue one. He cannot manage. Neither the white. Maybe some of you will not be so happy because I cannot test the blue and the white lead, right? But in my case, it makes me happy and I will explain you why. The output voltage it's very low, it's 2.20 something volts. And if I use 3 volts, more than 3 volts to test LEDs, it's nice for LEDs. But the voltage could be harmful for a sensitive circuit nowadays that the digital electronics works in 1.8 volts. So it makes me happy because I can use this kind of multimeter for a voltage sensitive stuff, not all my multimeters are very low voltage. So in my case, I will not take it as a disadvantage. I will take it as an advantage. You need to know your equipment, what you have with them. And when I have to test something voltage sensitive, I know I can go with this multimeter. I like the device a lot. To not be auto range, to be manual range, to me means safety. When I want to make sure and fix it in some scale, this is not an auto function. 
and I'm safe with a high voltage. I feel also I'm safe testing digital electronics with 1.8 volts. This multimeter, believe it or not, takes a huge advantage between the bunch of multimeters I have. Probably this is the guy I'm going to use for that kind of test. Useful for audio amplifiers, match transistors gain, and also most electronics applications with the micro amperes scale. It looks nice. It feels nice on the hand. Also like the clamp meter I made the review from Ben Lab. And it's a very nice cutie product. I'm very satisfied. I'm satisfied with the currency too. And thanks Ben Lab for your multimeter. We always need two multimeters in the lab, in the workbench. And Ben Lab has another multimeter. Maybe we can use this video to tell them, hey guys, why don't you make a combo with those, with those two multimeters and for sell them together and give us a discount, right? I agree. Guys, thanks for watching the video. See you next time with more product reviews and some are coming videos about electronics learning. Thanks again. Do not forget to give a like and to subscribe and to share it.